We all know that the way to get better at any skill is through deliberate practice. Today I'm going to share some of my tips and tricks on how to maintain a steady and consistent calligraphy practice that will give you results. As with most things, it's better to practice calligraphy daily rather than in one huge chunk on the weekends. But if you're like me, you probably have a day job or other commitments and it's hard to find time. I make sure to always schedule in my practice sessions. If it's not scheduled, it usually doesn't happen. And so scheduling it makes me treat it as a commitment. My second tip is a little motivation hack. So if I'm really not feeling it, I tell myself I only need to spend 10 minutes practicing. When I get to my desk, set up all my supplies and get into it, I often find I spend way longer than that initial 10 minutes. When learning a new hand, pick a good exemplar to study and copy. This could be a historical manuscript or from a teaching book. Here I'm showing you the groups in Sheila Waters' Foundations of Calligraphy. She splits them up for you so you can understand how these basic shapes of the O and the N relate to all the other letters in the alphabet. Learning groups of like letters together will help understand the relationships between the basic shapes in each letter. This is something from that same book. The idea is to separate your rhythmic practice from your analytical practice. For rhythmic practice, you want to rule margins, guidelines, and so on, and pick a block of long text to practice with. Write out the text, really getting into the rhythm and not criticizing yourself. At the end of it, you'll have a solid block of text. Then keep that sheet that you've written on for a later session of analytical practice. When you're doing analytical practice, this is where you actually criticize your letter forms. So you look at them and see if you have any issues with the forms themselves, with the spacing, with the interlinear spacing. And this way you have sessions where you just write and you have sessions where you uh, criticize what you've written before. Don't worry if the first line you write when you settle down to writing sucks. It really does take time to warm up. With Spencerian, I like to warm up by doing just a couple of drills for a couple of minutes before I start writing. When learning a new hand, I believe it's vitally important to move quickly from practicing individual letters to practicing words and sentences. In this way, you learn about spacing, about interlinear spacing, and to get a rhythm that makes a block of text beautiful. When you feel like you're not improving, having dated practice sheets is a great way to go back on what you've done before and see how you have improved. And my most fun tip is to make real pieces. Whether they're just letters for friends or envelopes you've addressed or quotes that you've framed or tiny books you've made, making real pieces will give you a sense of accomplishment but will also force you to practice layout, which is kind of a tricky skill. And don't worry, we're all the most critical of ourselves, so even if we think our skills aren't up to scratch, chances are other people will still appreciate and love the things that we make and give to them. If you have any tips on how you practice calligraphy, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read them. And if you found this video useful, please give it a thumb. Otherwise, please subscribe if you're into calligraphy and penmanship videos.